Okay, hi guys. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to continue off from the last two with our Hello World app. Um, now we're going to add some locks, uh, or a lock, using a switch. Uh, so this is going to be a device that's a UI switch device. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to lock the, uh, the colors that were on the screen. So let's run this and show you what we've got so far. And in the meantime, we'll go into the storyboard. So here's our storyboard. It shows what the app looks like right now. So that's where it is. Is it done? Yeah, okay. So that's what it looks like when it runs. Uh, when you press set red, it changes the text to be red, this button red, and sets this one to the background. And then when you click blue, it changes blue. It sets that background. So... Now what I want to do is add a lock so that when the lock is locked, these buttons don't do anything and the label stays the same as it was before. So I'm going to open up our side panel, switch back into our main editor instead of having both, assist both editors open there. And I'll just add a switch. So I'll just put it there and then so that I know what the switch does I'm going to add a label here and we'll just call this lock okay so now if I want this to have any effect you guys know what I have to do I have to add an action so Bring the action down here. Make sure that it's an action. And we'll call this lock did switch. Event value changed. So before we had touch up inside, but here uh, we're just going to have it triggered every time it goes from on to off or off to on. This isn't something that's available for every. Um, object, but it works for switches. Okay, that's good. And then I also want to add an outlet here. So, outlet, and we'll call this the lock switch. Okay, so now I can reference that switch. And while we're at it, why don't we add a property for the lock label. So name lock label. Okay, cool. So now we'll come over to the .m file. Um, close my sidebar. And so here's our .h file. Here's our .m file. I've got my assistant editor open. First, we have to synthesize them. So we added a lock switch and a lock label. We synthesize, so we should also come down here and release them. Okay, so we'll come back down to the lock did switch method, and in here we're going to check the state of our lock switch. So if lock switch is on, this is a built-in method that tells us whether it's selected or not. So if it is on, then we want to disable the buttons. And then if it's off, we want to enable the buttons again. So what we're going to do is just set the property. So red button dot enabled is equal to no. And then red, uh, blue button. And we'll set the enabled property again to be no. And then We'll just copy and paste that here, but set it to be yes. 
So what this does is if the lock switch is on, if we have pushed the lock button, then we want to disable all our buttons. And if we're releasing the lock button, then we want to enable all our buttons. Let's go back into our storyboard. Select our lock. Look at the side panel. And um, in here at the top, it says state. This is our default state, and we want that to be off. So now it's switched to off. So when the view loads, this will be off, and our lock will work correctly. So the lock is off. Buttons do what they should. Lock is on. I'm clicking. Nothing is happening with the buttons. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe if you like what you're seeing, and uh, see you guys soon.